everybody, it's Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick. Uh, this morning I'm out doing a, uh, just kind of get a day hike in. Uh, I'm at Big Hill Pond State Park in Tennessee. And uh, I've hiked a little ways this morning. I'm gonna stop and uh, heat up some water and I'm gonna have some oatmeal and just kind of enjoy some breakfast for a minute. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but the trail's right back there. It's, uh, the trails aren't marked really well at this area uh, of the park. So, uh, just kind of trying to make my way through. But, but anyway, I stopped right here. There's some railroad tracks behind me. I don't know if you can see them, but down the hill, there's some railroad tracks. And there's just like a little, looks like uh, where some, some of the ground is washed away. It's a pretty big drop off. But I think I'm just going to have a seat right here. And uh, like I said, just kind of make me some breakfast and take a break for a second. But real quick, I just want to kind of show you what all I brought for a day hike. There's a couple of new items that I'm uh, using for the first time, so I just kind of want to go over that. Uh, a couple things that I've been using for a little bit, but uh, anyway, first off is my leaky trekking poles. Uh, they're still doing great. Uh, no problems with them. Good poles, just a little bit heavy. Depends on your stance on heavy, though. Um, I'm just wearing my uh, Columbia Peak to Peak jacket I'm testing for backpack gear test uh, and then I'm wearing I don't know if you can see it but that's the Terra Nova 35 laser pack I uh, got a while back I'm using it I probably had counting the shell that I'm wearing I probably had about 12 13 pounds in there something like that maybe not that much uh, it's not a whole lot um, but anyway I'll just kind of show you what I got in my pack real quick let's see take it off there's a couple of things I want to say about the pack too. And the reason I'm wearing the shell this morning, it's about 65 degrees, but you know, in the morning times you get all the spider web. Uh, um, and also um, underneath, I'm wearing the, uh, it's a Stoic Merino Bliss 150 weight shirt. Uh, I had a real sweet discount for some stoic gear and uh, this was like a $70 shirt. I haven't had a chance to try any wool shirts yet so I figured I'd pick this one up. I uh, had a really good discount. It's like 20 bucks with a coupon so I couldn't really pass that up. Uh, nice thing, it's got a pocket over here. Nice good deep pocket and it's got a half zip across the top so I can vent pretty well. The only thing is it's short sleeve. Uh, that's one reason I'm wearing this jacket right now. So. Hang on just a second. Okay, just kind of show you, like I said, the Laser 35. And actually, for uh, what I've, I'm carrying in this thing, it's really too large for what I've got. But, uh, oh well. Uh, in the pocket over here, I just got some uh, Powerade to drink. And I've got some water over here that I can use to uh, cook with. That's all I got on the outside. I want to show one thing. There's this little pocket right here on the side and it comes in really handy because I can just, after I get done packing uh, or getting out of the truck and stuff, I can just throw my keys and my phone, everything right there and it's in a zippered pocket. It's away from the inside. It's somewhere I know I can get. So that's really cool. I wasn't really sure what I was going to use that pocket for, uh, but now I figured it out. Uh, one other thing I want to point out um, about the uh, pack. I've got it cinched down pretty tight here, but this pack uses these little Hypalon tabs. It's just a synthetic rubber, if you can see that. And immediately when I cinch, pull this to cinch it closed, uh, this this tab just completely tore through. I mean, it was real easy. So uh, I wasn't real sure about that, so I was like, well, I'll take it easy. But then the same thing happened over on this other side. Uh, it pulled through this bottom one over here and uh, I don't know. These little Hypalon tabs, they're just not holding up too well. So, I don't know. That's one thing. I think maybe if they use something a little different on this pack other than this Hypalon or made the holes where it wasn't right on the edge of the, uh, like this one here, it's just right there on the edge of the material. So, it's not, doesn't really have a very strong point. So, if that was changed, maybe that would be different. And then we'll open it up here. Like I say, it is a panel loader, it opens up down the front. That's pretty cool. So just kind of show you some stuff in here. I brought my gators because we are expecting thunderstorms today. 
I brought those, my Kapilka cup, uh, some toilet paper, don't want to be left without that. Uh, this is just a little two mil uh, ground sheet I got, um, just in case it does rain and I want to set up my stuff. Uh, this is my Diddy bag, and I've got a whole video on that, so I'm not going to go into detail what I got inside it. But I will point out that that's my new uh, Z-Pax Cuban fiber stuff sack that I got around it. Um, then I've just got some snacks and uh, some oatmeal and stuff. That's what I'm fixing to eat. I got my REI long handle titanium spoon. Uh, I've got a uh, platypus two liter bladder, and inside there's another new item. Um, that's the uh, Aquamira Frontier Pro, Frontier Pro filter um, and I'm going to do another video on it just kind of show how I plan on using it but uh, that's it so uh, I got that um, I got my uh, Z-Pax Cuban Fiber uh, pack cover just in case it does rain this pack is uh, I, don't know, I can't remember for sure, but I won't say they may have said it was like rain or waterproof, but I wouldn't 100% trust it, so I brought the pack cover just in case. And this pack cover is actually too big, but I could cinch it up and make it work, because like I say, I'm just out here for a day hike. Uh, the Jet Boil Soul Tie, I'm uh, testing that for backpack gear test. I've got some titanium stakes, and I've got my OES 8x10 tarp. Like I said, just in case it rained, I could throw me up some shelter and uh, have a place to sit. And then of course I got a blue pad in there I could take out and use as a sit pad in just a minute. Um, then my pockets. I've got a light load towel. This is one that we had used previously. I was just going to bring it out here and use it again. And I've got a uh, my cloud kilt, like I say, just in case it rains. Plus, it, the cool thing about that thing is it makes a great little uh, sit pad uh, for just those moments you want to take a break. And that's why I have it in my pack or my hip pocket because if I just want to stop and take a, a break somewhere I can just reach in there and grab it lay it on the ground and uh, go to it and then over here I have my Aquamira drops because I'm going to use those in conjunction with the uh, Frontier Pro filter and like I say I'll go over that later and then I just got some Germex so I can kind of clean my hands um, so and I didn't repackage that because like I say this pack weight's not much um, but anyway there's a mosquito. That's a big one. Ain't nothing in there for you, bud. Uh, but anyway, like I say, I don't have a, I ordered a, a, a visor. I'm going to try out a visor because I didn't really like the way the Outdoor Research Helios hat fit me or how it did for me. So I ordered a uh, Sunday afternoon visor. I'm going to try a visor out, see how that does. Um, and then the last thing I want to point out is i got some of these Stoic Merino wool socks. Um, they're actually pretty comfy. These are crew length socks. And I like these because my other socks I had are smart wool. And they came all the way up to, you know, mid thigh or more. So I figured for summer, these would be just a little bit cooler. And that'd still offer the protection that I needed. So anyway, that's just kind of a rundown of some of the things I got. I'm going to go ahead and boil me some water and uh, have me a quick little breakfast. Got it!